obviously can pick up a scent of a predator in this area so they know that there was something here and that's why they're being a little bit more on the shy side unfortunately we're right on the main road which means that there's a number of vehicles that are in this area and it's causing a bit of a traffic jam at this stage between elephants and leopard and all the other things that we see here it creates a bit of a sort of mess at the end of the day but here come our Ellie's and isn't this the most beautiful female she's massive you can see this is the one I was talking about that doesn't have the tusks at this stage she's got no tusks whatsoever so it's not that those are broken off that is just an elephant that lacks tusks so it's a genetic defect that she doesn't have them and it's becoming more common in female elephants Michael yes there is <coughs> There is some sort of a hierarchy that you'll find that the matriarch is the highest ranked and then there will be females after that that will dictate a little bit of what goes on. So there'll be sort of older, more senior females. Hello beautiful. Yes, we see you there. You can see she's a lot more alert. Look how she's using her trunk. Ears are quite raised. Head is up a little bit and that is very indicative of an animal that is sort of knows there was some sort of disturbance here and some sort of a problem so that's why she's doing that but yes there will be more senior females and generally they're actually the offspring from the matriarch and they will feel as though they're part of a more senior sort of side of the elephant herd now it seems that they're going to go straight and move down towards Chitra Dam. I think that's where they're going to head this afternoon. I wouldn't be surprised if that's the sort of route that they're taking because they are moving quite quickly. And this particular herd I have seen before, it's the female in the front, the one that I recognize. She's got very upward facing tusks and ones that you see fairly regularly. And they do spend a lot of time in this area. I've seen them quite often moving around. And like I say, there are a number of different cars trying to get past us, which is making for quite a bit of a mess at this stage so hopefully we get all the private cars through this is the problem with being on a main road with elephants and varying other things I wonder if they're not going to cross in front of us it could be the case that they do you see she's just sniffing isn't this cool Izzy, you saying it looks like they had a nice bath? Well, most definitely. I think just prior to when we found them, as they were coming down into that riverbed section, I think they were having a big mud wallow around Twin Dams and Baboon Pan and having themselves a really good time because they are all covered in this dark mud. And then you can see what they've done is after they've wet themselves and got mud on themselves, they've now taken sand and they've thrown that sand on them. And that sand then sticks to that wet skin and that mud and it helps just create this exfoliating layer that will get rid of any dead skin cells it will also help with getting rid of any parasites so they'll just go rub up on things and that will pull the parasites off that get encased in that sandy sort of crust that forms over their skin and I always love when elephants cross a road because all of a sudden they all just kind of bunch together and then it's in single file they go across and generally the young boys will be the last ones to come over let's see here's one of the youngsters just popping out in front There is nothing better than spending time with a herd of elephants. So Tanner's in Canada. Hello Tanner, I hope you're having a good day. And you're wondering whether hippo's feet and elephant's feet look similar. Not at all, Tanner. So a hippo's foot will have four toes, basically that splay off like that. They are obviously massive in comparison, big wide toes. Whereas an elephant, as you can see as they cross the road now, are almost like big wide circles that they've got. So they've got like a big disc that comes down and it's sort of got the toenails are in front, but the actual foot structure is hidden within these fatty layers that you see on the actual foot whereas with a hippo you'll actually see very definitive toes that come off and you'll see the four toes in a track so slightly different feet and you'll find that the hippos walk a little bit more flat-footed than what you see with the elephants the elephants tend to walk a lot on their sort of almost tippy toes and the reason for that is they've got a big fat layer that sits underneath their heel and then comes down under the toes to be able to absorb the weight of these elephants remember these elephants weigh close to five or six tons on the males and that means that they've got a bit of an issue when it comes to walking right i think what we're going to do is we're going to get on the northern side of this chaos with all these cars in this area and try and see if we can't just get out of this and enjoy the ellies from the northern side because they are mobile north deeper into juma which means that we are going to have a bit of respite 